you are is doing good. Today I'm really excited because I said before when I reach 100,000 views on my DIY lampshade, I will do like the third lamp of the series and I finally reach it. I can't believe it. Like that's crazy you guys. Thank you so much. Um, it's really made me happy. So today I'm going to show you the third lamp of the series and I thought like to make like a whole new lamp but since you like that lamp so much like the yarn lampshade, I decided to make like the same lamp but only bigger, nicer, cooler, prettier and even harder to make. <laughs> what? By the way, I did explain in the description box down below in the past lampshade video um, that I didn't notice like my battery died so the camera didn't record it properly like the first video. I've seen so many of you requested me to show you how I removed the cardboard from the yarn. Like, I have no idea why I call it yarn, it's twine. Uh, how I removed the cardboard from the twine. I will show you today. That is the first... Uh, it, it, it looks just like my thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> that's the first slam I did on my channel. Like, that's the first DIY I ever did in my channel. Um, and it's not like just lay there like above the base of the lamp it's not connected any kind of way um so hope that answer your questions <coughs> i'm pretty excited so without further ado let's go to the video for this specific diy i used homo item from ikea i hope i pronounce it right First step is to measure the size you want the base to be and make template from clear plastic. When you're working with cement, clear plastic like soil is the best material to use uh, from experience, easy to release at the end. Here I'm making the mold which is 20cm by 20cm long. Now with regular tape, join all the edges together to create a nice square shape. As you see, I added cardboard to make my mold stronger, cause after all cement is heavy and tends to spread everywhere. For making the concrete, you will need quick dry cement and water. One part cement and one part water. As you see, I eyeball it, but if you're new, follow the measurement I just said. Before you pour the concrete, cover the parts that touches the mixture and you don't want them to get dirty. Now that's the right consistency your concrete mixture should be like. Place the base of the lamp in the middle and put the concrete over. Tap to release unwanted air bubbles to get a fine result at the end. After 24 hours, peel the plastic and let the concrete breathe. Now we are making the lampshade itself. For that I used 4 pieces of 120 by 18 cm cardboard and glued them together to a strong foam. Make sure you have 6 packs of twine, clear film, wood glue and water. First, cover the structure with clean film. Now, 
Mix the water and the glue in the container until well combined and dip the yarn in the container. Start loop the yarn all the way around until you finish with all the six. By the way, that may take a while. Last, add a layer of glue water you made for more strong structure. Back to the concrete base. Sand with sandpaper for more fine looking result and seal the concrete with Mod Podge clear gloss. Now that's actually two days after, you need to let the yarn harden as much as you can. To release the cardboard, cut every side in the middle and crumble the shape into itself if it makes any sense. Fun fact, wood glue does not glue to a clear film. Place your new brand lampshade above the base, add a string light for more magic, and it's all done! Do you still feel the same way too? Cause baby, I'm still loving you. Tell me I don't have a clue what we're going through. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give a big thumbs up so I will know you like those ideas. And subscribe to my channel down below for my future video. And I hope I answered all of your questions. And I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.